plastic. 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 Plastic affects my body. At every stage of the plastic life cycle, plastic can be a health threat to humans. Communities are exposed to pollutants during oil extraction, workers inhale toxic off-gases during the plastic manufacturing process, and consumers eat, inhale, and absorb plastic toxins every day. Many of the largest and most hazardous chemical families, including heavy metals, flame retardants, phthalates, bisphenols, and endocrine disruptors, are directly associated with plastic production. Some of these chemicals have been linked to illnesses like breast cancer, endometriosis, ovarian cancer, polycystic ovarian syndrome, behavioral disorders, miscarriage, reproductive disorders, abnormal menstruation. In the plant I worked in, there where I was reading the president, I'll tell you, workers went probably every night by the busload to the hospital because of bleeding nose, sick to their stomach, exposure as early as probably 1998, our workers started dying. And at that point, we knew it was chemical exposure. Every two, three weeks, I'm going to a funeral of a co-worker. That's how many we've lost. Uh, the, the women who have had miscarriages, hysterectomies, like I've dealt with it all and, and it's horrific and nobody wants to listen to the workers. Plastic chemicals can affect the reproductive system and affect uh, the hormones in our body. So one of the ways that this can happen is when the plastics act as a mimic of the natural hormones that are in our body, such as estrogen. Mimickers of estrogen would also predispose to abnormalities in breast tissue and uh, can cause cancers in a lot of women. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not doing harm. And then I knew people that had cancer or they were going through treatment. I'm thinking, what is it doing to them? And all of them are cle completely in the dark about what's in the air that could be harming them. I deserve. I deserve. I deserve. I deserve a plastic-free world.